Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UWA Rap Number Two. My name is Dan Birmingham. We have a lot to get into. Not only do we have a big matchup for you and Jake Howell and Little Mike, but we have some groundbreaking announcements to come afterwards. Let's head to the ring for the match and see what goes down. Jake Howell and Little Mike. No, it's run. Test of strength, Howell is offering. Mike, will he accept? Yes, he accepts. Hands now locked. Test of strength applied. Oh, oh my good. And that's just it, really. DDT into a choke. Mike got the better of the test of strength. Howell now. We're flipping him over with the strength. He, he has him a shoulder to the pin of the mat. One, two, no. Mike's fast. Gets him in a kata hajime. And keep in mind. Oh, and he gets out of it working on the arm because of all the, uh, of the craziness of CJ and what he did at the first wrath. To the official, we don't have any more referees. So, this, so the matches now, I guess, have no rules. Anything can happen. They go outside of the ring. They can have weapons. Jake Howell stomps on Mike and now a headlock. There's flagrant trash talking going on during this match. Oh, wait. Wait just a minute. Mike has him. He was going for the torture rack. He, he, he didn't quite get him all the way, but he got the side, and that's a very key area. Mike now being very disrespectful, but I've no... Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Amateur wrestling style takedown was blocked by Mike by holding onto the ropes, and now he's in control. Sock the back. I don't know what that noise was. But now a camel clutch. Normally, this whole be broken right about now because Howell's feet under the ropes, but keep in mind, no rules. Anything goes. Mike, let's go up the camel clutch. He's now... Both men, a little scrambled. The Irish whip has been reversed. Howell going into the corner. Back attack. Stomping him. That's Howell going to do now. I think he's going to go to the other corner. Foot to the face. Nothing fancy about that. Howell now. Applying, I would guess, just a standard leg lock. Now stretching the arm and the leg muscles, but Mike gets out of it using his feet. Very resourceful. Howell's clutching that right arm. It seems the right arm is injured. I've noticed Howell is respectful backstage. When it comes to the ring, he is, he, he is, he is all business. It does not matter who you are. He will fight for his victory. As now he's squaring off a little Mike. He seems to have rocked Mike. Mike is hanging on by a, by a thread. Working on that right knee once again. So Mike now, I guess, is a bit stunned. Howell's ascending the ropes from the outside. He, he's, he's, he's on Brett's rope, the second rope. Hand gesture and an elbow drop. I think he's going to go for the cover. Yes, the cover. One, two, and a kick out from Mike. Not surprising. There, there needs to be more work done to Mike. The longer a wrestling match goes on, the more like the more your body wears down, the more tired you get. Howell taking good advantage of that with elbows to the back of the head. Leg drop. Simple as that. There's some taunting. Simple as that. I think there's some Oh well, oh, Mike's back up. Okay. These two men now circling, just staring. I'm gonna make the other move now. Oh my goodness. He barely caught him with the super kick, but it was just enough to strike him down. He caught him, I guess, on the bridge of the nose and the chin. As the cover is made, one, two. Not surprised he couldn't quite get all of the super kick. Mike is now in control. Now he's ascended to Brett's rope. His elbow, no, Howell rolls right out of the way. What's he doing now? Famouser. It's the Famouser. One, two, no. Barely a kick out. Again, 
the longer a wrestling match goes on, the longer their bodies wear down, and the more likely they are to be beat. Both men at any time could get a pinfall or submission, and this match could be over. Howell's stun. MFG cutter. No. Howell's stun in the corner. Uppercut by Mike. Mike has a head of steam. Howell. Knee to the face by Mike. Howell's clutching his head. One, two. No. Oh my God. The hand hit the mat. But, it, but it, it just wasn't enough. Howell still kicked out. Ankle lock. Grapevine. There are, there are no more rope breaks. Howell has nowhere to go. He either finds a way to fight out of it or, or he taps. The hand's up. He could tap right here. But resourceful thinking. And now he locks him. That injured knee from earlier. Both men applying pain to one another. But Mike grabs the rope. But, but there are no rope breaks. Both men are damaged. Howell's right arm and shoulder and his right leg. Mike's right leg is also injured. Without his right leg, Mike... I don't think him from the Superman punch, but I think he, he's, he's going to attempt it. That could be a big mistake here. Yeah. Superman punches is ducked. MFG cutter. Cover one, two. And then what you look at M that. F he's avenged his loss from a few weeks ago. Jake Howell has won this contest. If you're keeping up between them, they've each won a match. What a victory for Jake Howell. Got to reckon there's a lot in his future. We'll be right back. Go check out Wild West Gun Show on YouTube, hosted by our very own Redneck Mayhem. If you want to see the best reviews for guns, go and check it out. As you've seen, there is a new era for UWA. With a brand new emblem and a new direction, we are here to announce some breaking news. Eric Tyler Mullins, the commissioner, has been promoted to the UWA Board of Directors. We have a brand new commissioner his name is the Dark Wolf Logan Price. This is truly a groundbreaking moment for UWA. We are honored to have Logan Price, a man who has done a lot for us, has come to step in as the brand new commissioner. We will hear from him on, on the next draft. Speaking of the next draft, we will finally get the confrontation of Jake Howell and CJ. What will go down, what, what will be said, who knows. But I have been Dan Birmingham, and this has been, whoa, wait.